in this video let's talk about some very important mcqs which will be helpful for your upcoming entrance exams see in the last past five revision series videos i have picked up mcqs from previous years question papers the same way in this video i have picked up mcqs from previous years question papers but only from epidemiology so in this video you can expect many epidemiology questions so let's start solving it first question prevalence of a disease is Option A is the best measure of disease frequently in etiological studies. Option B can only be determined by a cohort study. Option C is the number of new cases in a defined population. Option D describes the balance between incidence, mortality and recovery. Which among the following do you think it's a prevalence of a disease? So correct answer should be option D. Prevalence describes the balance between incidence, mortality and recovery. So let's just have a look at why other options are wrong. See prevalence cannot be determined by cohort study. Prevalence can be determined by cross sectional study. Prevalence is not the number of new cases. Prevalence is old plus new cases. Incidence is, incidence is the number of new cases in a defined population. So your correct answer is option D. Prevalence describes the balance between incidence, mortality, recovery. Coming to our next question. Next question also is regarding prevalence. See prevalence, incidence, all these are basic terms of epidemiology. You should have a clear cut knowledge about all this. So I have picked up many questions regarding prevalence and incidence today. See which among the following do you think it's a prevalence? Is prevalence a rate? Is prevalence a ratio? Is prevalence a proportion? Is it a mean? Which among the following do you think it is a correct option? Comment your answers. Your answer should be proportion. Prevalence is a proportion. So before going to solve further questions, let us be clear with this prevalence concept. Always remember prevalence is old plus new cases. It's just a statistical concept referring to number of cases of a disease that are present in particular population at a given time. Suppose if you are measuring it in a specified time period, it's called periodic prevalence. If you are measuring it in a specified point of time, it's called point prevalence. And prevalence is a proportion. Here we use multiplier as 100. I hope I am clear with this. Prevalence is old plus new. Incidence is only new. Coming to our next question. What is case fatality rate? Option A. Severity of a disease. Option B. Communicability of a disease. Option C. Burden of a disease. Option D. None. Comment your answers. I hope everybody have marked it correctly. Case fatality rate is severity of a disease. One more question I would like to ask. What is case fatality rate? of COVID-19 in India. Comment all your answers. Two things you have to comment. What is case fatality rate of COVID-19 in India and globally? Both the questions try to answer this. It will help you out. See what is case fatality rate? It is generally used as a measure of disease severity and often used for prognosis like predicting disease course or outcome. Coming to our next question, in a community, an increase in new cases denotes Option A, increase in incidence Option B, increase in prevalence rate Option C, decrease in prevalence rate Option D, decrease in incidence rate If you are clear with concepts of prevalence and incidence, you can easily mark this answer. I want everybody to comment your answers. This question is very easy. At the same time, it's logical. Listen to this question very carefully. Here, what they are trying to tell you. In a community, there is an increase of new cases. So let me take a real life example. In a community, there is increase of new cases of COVID-19. So what do you understand by that? So in a community, there is increase in incidence rate of COVID-19. Okay, they didn't mention you it's old cases or they didn't mention you cases. Here they are trying to tell you it's new cases. So your option should be there is an increase in incidence rate. And one more thing, incidence is a rate. Remember this, incidence is a rate. Prevalence is a proportion, incidence is a rate. Prevalence is old plus new, incidence is only new. Coming to our next question. Bhopal gas tragedy is an example of option A, point source epidemic. Option B, propagated epidemic. Option C, continuous epidemic. Option D, modern epidemic. See which among the following do you think Bhopal gas tragedy is an example of? This question is like most favorite question for many examinations. Like JIPMER 2018, they have asked this question. 
Central University of Kerala they have asked this question like CU said even Central University of Hyderabad also they have asked this question so please remember and mark this answer very correctly i hope everyone have done it correctly bhopal gas tragedy is a point source epidemic so what do i mean by point source epidemic see cases rises rapidly and falls off gradually this is an example of point source epidemic this question i have picked up from epidemiology study designs which of the following is not an analytical study option a case control option b cohort option c rct randomized control trial option d cross sectional mark your answers so your answer should be rct randomized control trial c rct is not an analytical study it's an experimental study please remember this coming to next question cross sectional study is also called as option a snapshot study option b cohort study option c incident study option d case control study which among the following do you think it is also called as which type of study i hope everyone have marked it correctly because in the first question itself i told you prevalence is measured by cross sectional study and cross sectional study is also called as snapshot study please don't forget this see one more question i would like to ask you what are the other names for cohort study and case control study so three questions you have to answer first question is that what is the case fatality rate of covid 19 in india what is the case fatality rate of covid 19 globally what are the other names for cohort study and case control study coming to our next question see listen to this question very carefully here i am trying to ask you at consumer level the level of iodine in salt at consumer level should be option a 15 option b 10 option c 30 option d 5 which among the following do you think level of iodine in salt at consumer level and one more thing why are we fortifying salt with iodine comment your answers so your answer should be 15 at consumer level it is 15 this question i have picked up from history of public health which among the following four committees do you think health survey and planning committee is also popularly known as comment your answers In the last revision series videos many students have marked it as bore committee no your answer should be mudliyar committee mudliyar committee is also called as health survey and planning committee bore committee is called as health survey and development committee i hope you will not get confused between these two whenever they are trying to ask you question regarding like this try to read the option and question carefully so that you will not miss any marks in negative marking coming to next question scope of family planning services include all of the following except option a marriage counseling option b screening for cervical cancer option c advice on sterility option d achieve children of desired gender which among the following do you think it has a correct option so your answer should be achieve children of desired gender because i have asked you in the question except national family health program will focus on marriage counseling advice on sterility contraceptive methods all that it will never focus on achieve children of desired gender coming to our next question influenza pandemic occurs due to most commonly like till last year we have seen many influenza pandemics so which among the following do you think influenza pandemic occurs due to antigenic shift drift seasonal changes or increasing susceptible host which among the following do you think i hope everybody knows what is antigenic shift what is antigenic drift in microbiology you would have studied in detail so i am not going in detail in this video so your answer should be antigenic shift many influenza pandemics we see because of antigenic shift what is antigenic shift generally mixing of genes from influenza virus only from different species that is why we are seeing many influenza pandemics please read about antigenic shift and drift it's really important to know about it coming to our next question provision of free medical care to people at government expenses is known as option a state medicine option b social medicine option c social security option d social insurance program which among the following do you think it's a free medical care to people at government expenses so your answer is state medicine this is very easy question i hope everybody will do it correctly quarantine means option a isolation of healthy person 
option b isolation of a disease person option c isolation of cases in recovery stage option d isolation of susceptibles like mention what is covid 19 quarantine period also like how many days is covid 19 quarantine period see there is difference between quarantine and isolation quarantine we do for healthy persons isolation we do for sick persons okay please don't get confused between quarantine and isolation coming to our next question kaya kalp scheme is related to option a institutional delivery option b nutritional supplementation in the community option c cleanliness hygiene and infection control in healthcare institutions option d care and support of elderly i hope everybody should mark this correctly you should study about kaya kalp scheme kaya kalp scheme like generally they promote cleanliness hygiene and infection control practices in public health care facilities and they have very good incentives and they recognize an award also like people who have maintained the standards of health care institutions so your answer should be cleanliness hygiene and infection control in health care institutions so like this kind of questions you can expect in exam like uh, here i have asked you total knee replacement is option a primary prevention option b tertiary prevention option c primordial prevention option d secondary prevention which among the following do you think total knee replacement is which type of prevention comment your answers so your answer should be tertiary prevention sometimes they can name one clinical scenario and ask you like what type of prevention is this like vaccination is which kind of prevention like that kind of simple easy questions you can expect regarding prevention this is most commonly asked question i have picked up from public health nutrition in jipmer 2019 also they have asked this question so kindly mark your answers correctly the term hidden hunger refers to option a hunger among tribal communities option b hunger among wanton area residents option c micronutrient deficiency option d severe malnutrition in younger children which among the following do you think it as a correct option mark your answers the term hidden hunger refers to micronutrient deficiency please note down this point in your notebooks whichever notebook you are preparing for your exams coming to our next question which of the following is a dead end infection option a tetanus option b rubella option c tuberculosis option d typhoid see and one more thing before marking your answers name the bacteria which causes typhoid name the bacteria which causes tb please mark your answers and name the bacteria which causes tetanus before commenting your answers like mark this bacteria whichever is causing the particular disease see tetanus is caused by clostridium tetani tb is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis typhoid is caused by salmonella typhi okay please remember this three and comment your answers which among the following is a dead end infection tetanus is dead end infection that is why we give tt tetanus toxoid to prevent that please remember this tetanus is dead end infection which among the following do you think we call it as hindu god of medicine option a atreya option b charaka option c dhanvantri option d vagpat comment your answers hindu god of medicine is called dhanvantri why i have repeated this question last time many students have commented it as charaka it's not charaka it's dhanvantri so coming to our next question listen to the question carefully before you answer to the question most effective method to identify cancer cases is option a population based screening option b voluntary reporting of cases option c screening of family members of known cases option d cancer registry which among the following do you think it's a correct option see here i am not trying to ask you diagnosis of cancer cases already people who are suffering with cancer you want to know like how do you choose them by which method suppose you are doing a case control study or cross sectional study or any type of study you might be doing you want to know like cancer cases so which is the ideal method you will choose mark your answers so your answer should be cancer registry it is the most effective method coming to our next question vaccination is done for post exposure prophylaxis in option a measles option b rabies option c chicken pox option d tetanus which among the following we do post exposure prophylaxis so your answer should be rabies soon after dog bite we give post exposure prophylaxis 
i hope these kind of questions are helpful for you if it's been helpful for you do like the video if you want more revision series videos comment and let me know take care stay safe stay happy